harmonic minor scale found in the Aya Turka and today you're going to learn the harmonic minor found of course in my scale book here on page six the harmonic minor today's video is brought to you by musiciansgradebook.com if you're looking for constructive criticism to elevate your playing look no further than musiciansgradebook.com you submit a recording, and for a nominal fee, you will get constructive criticism sent right back to you in a short period of time that will help you play better cello. And if you like the content that you're watching, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The algorithm of YouTube is not your friend, so please subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single lesson. Let's get right to learning now. First off, what is a harmonic minor? You'll see some colored dots right here that correspond with certain things, but first let's go to the definition. Here, both in English and in French. The harmonic minor is any natural minor scale. So you have to learn your natural minors. Go back up in there in the corner. I have linked a video introducing the natural minor single octave scales. And then you take the seventh note and you raise that note a half tone. Aussi en français, augmenter la septième note d'une demi-tone en montant et en descendant. For the purpose of simplicity, I'm going to look right here at the D minor, Ré mineur. So taking a look right here, we have the D minor scale. Everything is as it goes with the D natural minor, except the seventh note signified by the green, which transforms effectively the last interval into a major interval, just like D major, a C sharp to the D. So what this means is the seventh note, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's your seventh note. We're going to raise that a half tone, and that becomes a C sharp both as you go up and go down. And so that's the way they all sound like. We have a raised seventh note on the way up and on the way down for all of the minor scales. Now let's play each one of these, A minor, E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, then going to the flats, D minor, G minor, and C minor. En français, La mineur, Mi mineur, Si mineur, Fa diesi mineur, Ré mineur, Sol mineur et do mineur. We begin with A minor, la mineur. Did you see that little shift? Of course, if you know different positions, you can utilize them right now because that is an awkward shift. So I'm going to use the upper second position shift in order to play that G sharp to A natural half tone. Let's move right along to the E minor. We see a D sharp right here. It's a raised seventh note. I'll play it simply here in the first position with moving back to the half position. Now to try a fingering with this. I think I'm going to play the fourth position. Uh, 
If you're unfamiliar with the fourth position, there's a linked video in the corner. Check it out and come back to this video. By the way, these three dots is the end of my first position. These three dots is the beginning of my fourth position. B harmonic minor is the next scale. Again, going to play it in a regular first position, shifting back to the half step, and then shifting up the fourth position. The next scale we are going to play and learn is the F sharp minor, Fa diesi mineur. And this is going to have the three sharps, of course, the F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp with the added E sharp. So playing this in first position won't help. If you know your upper third position and then your upper second position with your lower second, it's going to help you out. Let's move on to the flats right now, and we're going to play D minor, G minor, C minor, and they're all starting on open strings. It's going to be really quite simple. Use the extended first position with a three instead of a two on the top part of the scale. So the green dots, as you see right here, green dots signify a major interval, while the purple dot represents the minor notes. So let's play all three of these right now. Here is D minor, Re mineur. <laughs> G minor, Sol mineur. Do mineur, C minor. Thank you for watching my video today on how to play the harmonic minor up to three sharps and three flats on your cello found here in my scale book. You can pick a copy up for yourself linked in the description below. And if you like my video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, give it a like if you learned something. My name is Jonathan. I love teaching cello and that's what I do. I teach cello to everyone and anyone with no preconceived ideas or ego. I'm just going to give you the information. You'll follow it as you please. So thank you very much for watching my video. Take care of yourself wherever you are in the world. It is a beautiful, wonderful journey of music discovery. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. Ah, that is a harmonic minor scale found in the Ayaturk 